The O'Sullivan Test in Pregnant Women The O'Sullivan Test is a mandatory exam in several countries, despite controversy over it. Its goal is to rule out gestational diabetes or to determine if there is a risk of it occurring. The O'Sullivan Test is a test performed on pregnant women to determine the state of glucose in the blood. In other words, this test aims to establish blood sugar levels in order to check whether or not there is a risk of gestational diabetes. Gestational diabetes is a condition in which blood sugar levels rise primarily due to hormonal changes during pregnancy. It can affect the health of the mother as well as the normal development of pregnancy and childbirth. In addition, the health of the baby can also be compromised in this case. This is why the O'Sullivan test has become a mandatory exam for all pregnant women in many countries. What is the use of the O'Sullivan test? The O'Sullivan test is not used to diagnose gestational diabetes, but its main purpose is to rule out it. The results allow two facts to be established. That the mother does not have gestational diabetes. The lack of risk of developing this disease Some consider this to be the best test in terms of cost, benefit, and effectiveness to rule out gestational diabetes. If the results are altered, a second, more specific test must be performed. It is called the glucose tolerance test or oral hyperglycemia. Currently, this test is dispensed to women under 25 who are of normal weight and have no risk factors such as a family history of diabetes, previous gestational diabetes, or obesity. The procedure. To take the O'Sullivan test, the woman does not need to be fasting. The first thing to do is to take a sample of your blood in order to quantify the levels of glucose it contains. Next, the patient should drink a very sweet drink which contains 50 grams of 25% glucose in 200 cc. In addition, she must remain seated for an hour after ingesting sugar without eating or drinking. After this period, a new blood sample is taken to measure the glucose levels again. This indicates whether the insulin has done its job properly or not. If the results of the O'Sullivan test give an indication of glucose intolerance or are inconclusive, a confirmatory examination should be performed. This is the glucose tolerance test. When performing the test. Usually, the O'Sullivan test is done between weeks 24 and 28 of pregnancy. This is the most appropriate time because it is during this time that hormonal changes usually affect how insulin works in the expectant mother. However, in some cases, the examination must be performed more than once. If the woman has had gestational diabetes in a previous pregnancy, the test takes place during the first trimester. It is indeed assumed that there is a risk factor for recurrence. This also applies when the pregnant woman meets one or more of the following criteria. Is over 35 years old. Has a family history of diabetes, especially the father or mother is overweight before pregnancy, gave birth to a baby weighing more than 4 kilograms in a previous delivery. Additional data on the O'Sullivan test. There is significant controversy over the O'Sullivan test. So much so that in many countries it is carried out only if there is a risk factor. The controversy is due to the fact that many women react fatally to the ingestion of glucose. Indeed, some vomit the drink immediately after having drunk it. And, if the test is repeated a few days later, the same thing happens. This examination, therefore, becomes a real test for some pregnant women. Sometimes there is no choice but to take the test only if there are one or more risk factors. Finally, in countries where the test is not compulsory, a protocol is followed in which the expectant mother is informed of the risks of the examination and can decide whether or not to perform it. In addition, there are also questions about the possible side effects of a high glucose intake on the health of the mother and the fetus.